Hi viewers, welcome to all. Here we are discuss about your project, a high throughput VLSA architecture design of canonical Huffman encoder. In a recent technology of digital network, will transfers and receives the data with more complexity due to number of data bits and the number of memory operations. Thus, it will take uh, more data losses and uh, low throughputs. Therefore, proposed work of this paper presents a lossless data compressions with a less memory architecture using a canonical Huffman compression technique. In this case, here the Huffman machines will present a lossless and less memory configurations and it support a multi-bit operations on data compressions. Okay. Here this technique will present in the input data of uh, 640 data bits and uh, compressed output data is 90 data bits using a variable length with canonical Huffman encoding method. Finally, this work will present in Verla HDL and synthesized in Xilinx Vertex 5 FPGA and compared all the parameters in terms of area delay and power. Now we can verify the base paper. It's a base paper title. Okay. So here they are fully designed for the canonical Huffman method. Okay. So here this is the existing architecture. Okay. The process of canonical Huffman encoding and this is a proposed architecture. Okay. So here the Huffman encoding means uh, this is a format. Okay, so here we are given an input data is this bits. Okay, 160 bits. Okay, so A, B, B, C, D, D, C, C, D, A. Okay, 20 characters we are given. So each character contain a 8 bit. Okay, so that's why it will take us a 160 bits. Okay, so here initial thing we need to calculate with the frequency count, sorting, bit mapping, and we need to create a code size table. Okay, so this kind of method we need to handle. Okay, as per that. Uh, this technique will be present okay so once the character will be got from the input okay so first we need to create as a frequency count so frequency count means we need to count number of uh, a's in the sequence okay and b in the sequence and c in the sequence okay so here how many number of a's means one uh, two three four okay so it will be present on four times b will present on seven time and c will present on three times d will present on two times and e will present on four times okay after this frequency counter we need to sort this operation so okay so as per this architecture the sorting module they are given okay so this sorting will be happen on here okay so here sorting model means we need to uh, write a ascending operations of this uh, frequency count okay so here uh, very least one means d okay so d c e a b okay so as per that we are sort this operation after this sorting we need to create as a bit mapping okay this bit mapping technique we need to create as a state machine okay so here state machines means uh, as per this frequency count and sorting method we need to create as a state machine okay so initial uh, the sorting means the least one is d2 okay so first we will put this 2 on here okay so here it will be called as a d state okay so and this is a called as again sm0 next list is 3 c3 okay so we plot this on here okay so once it completed we need to add this 2 okay 2 plus 3 equal to 5 okay now the first cycle completed okay for second cycle e4 and a4 okay so we need to plot this two thing okay we'll plot this here and we'll be add this 4 and 4 and we are created as a this state okay sm5 state will be created okay after that uh, we need to create with match with b7 okay so this 7 we need to calculate with uh, this two state which one will be least okay so here 8 uh, 7 okay we are comparing this and 5 7 we are comparing this 5 will be least okay so we need to add this 7 on here okay and uh, we need to add this 5 plus 7 equal to 12 okay this state also created okay and finally we need to interconnect this two state okay so 12 plus 8 we are added with a 20 okay so as per that we are created this state mission okay so this is a process for normal Huffman encoding technique okay here use this bit mapping technique next state we need to create as a code table okay so code table means here a means uh, you can calculate from the head uh, state machine okay 20 okay uh, so 0 1 means a and b means uh, 0 sorry 1 1 means b and c means 
1 0 1 means C and D means 1 0 0 means D okay and E means 0 0 okay so you can check this priority line okay it's a zero line or one line okay so as per that we can create this code table okay so once code table will be created uh, we need to create as a compressed data code word canonical form okay so this is the final part okay so if normal huffman means uh, we can write a multiple number of sequence okay so here these are the formats okay but in the canonical form they are given the details in base paper and also in wikipedia okay canonical huffman code okay so here they are given some format okay number of bits followed by the value okay so here the sequence will be given for character number of bit and value okay here number of bit means uh, uh, here a means it's a 2 b means 1 okay c means 3 and d means 3 okay so as per that we have created this canonical form uh, here a means 2 b means 2 and c means 3 uh, d means 3 and e means 2 right okay so first character is a okay so 201 second character b b so 211 okay so as per that we have created as a canonical form method okay so this is a final thing so as per this uh, flow of work okay we are created as a verla hostel coding okay so this is a test bench for the coding okay and uh, initially we are uh, put the character in a text file okay so a b b c d b c okay so using this a b c d we, we can change any characters any number of bit okay on here okay so here uh, once the text will be loaded uh, we are using a file reading code and we are uh, read the file okay and it will be written into the canonical huffman machine okay so here this is a canonical huffman machine here we have received the data enable and data input okay data input is 160 bit and data output is 90 bit okay it's a compressed out output okay so once got a data input it will be given into the huffman buffer okay and the huffman buffer will sample the data as per the number of bit okay and it will be given as a buffer data and buffer enable after that we are created as a frequency count okay and sorting method okay and bit mapping okay and code table okay so finally we got a code words okay on here okay and uh, we can check the simulation output on here okay so here you can check the simulation output canonical huffman machine clock reset data enabler and data input uh, here data input we are loaded uh, by clockwise a b a b b a okay so as per the bit sequence we are added here and finally we got the total characters okay so here uh, you can check the huffman buffer it will be split the data with sampling okay and uh, this is a frequency count it will calculate the frequency count okay so here you can check the frequency a means here i am using the cursor right a means 4 b means 8 c means 3 d means 2 and e means 4 okay so here it will count the frequency this uh, frequency will be given into the sorting part okay this frequency count we are given into the sorting okay so this sorting uh, will receive it the input and it will be uh, make it as a ascending order okay so here you can check the output okay d c a e a b okay 2 3 4 8 okay so as per that it will be created okay so once it, it's uh, completed uh, we can given this data to bit mapping okay so bit mapping will create the state machine okay and uh, it will create the bit mapping table okay so as per that it will create a table 2 12 52 d2 okay the bitmap symbol output okay it will be given into the code table okay so the code table receive the character and uh, bitmap table okay so here bitmap table and bitmap symbol we can receive it okay and uh, we can calculate the number of code word on here okay as per the canonical form okay so here the code words will be started on here you can check the values okay so here it will be updated clock by clock you can check this one okay so this code word is 
90 bit okay so here you can check it it will start from the 0th bit to it will complete it up to 90 bit we are shifting the number of bit then only we can get uh, this type of output okay total compressed output we can get okay so we have synthesis this code in uh, vertex 5 fpga and uh, we can get a number of slice resistors equal to 1439 and uh, number of LUT is equal to 3217 and uh, occupy slice equal to 1243 okay and you can check the synthesis delay equal to 8.016 nanosecond and you can check the RTL schematic so this is the RTL schematic okay Huffman buffer frequency count okay sorting bit mapping and code table okay and uh, you can check the power report here power will take 3.316 volt and uh, we have written abstract document for this project you can check it so it's a title and base paper abstract announcement of this project proposed title proposed abstract existing system disadvantages proposed system advantages literature survey finally references okay thank you if you need more video related with vlsi projects implementation please like and subscribe this channel